Oh, what an incredible mind which has been overcome by madness. And me, of all women, is the most depressed and grief-stricken, who drank the sweet words of his poetic vows. Oh, God pity me, to have seen what I have seen, see what I see. May my soul be lost in hell. I hate the sky for Hamlet. Bravo. Bravo. Well done. Bravo. Bravo. Smart girl. Did you hear them applaud? Anfisa. My baby, that was incredible, magical, brilliant, what a success. That was the best Ophelia I've ever seen, you're talented, Anfisa, you're gifted. Are you offering me a full-time job? Where, in our amateur theater, we do everything on pure enthusiasm. We are not talking about salaries at all, no, you have to. You just must enter the drama school and become a professional actress. With such beauty and talent, you will be a success. No, I've made up my mind to go to the Polytech. What the hell do you need it for? You'll be bored to death at the first lecture. What if I've been dreaming about space since I was a kid? Then you should apply to an aviation school. Anfisa, listen to me. You can't betray your talent. Wow. Anfisa, it was just wow. So cool. Tanya. We're so late. Come on, let's go, quick, let's go. Scratchy lady. Just be quiet, not like before. Don't wake up the teachers. Come on, you go first. Go, go, go. Episode 1. Anfisa, explain me for tomorrow what positional and non-positional calculus systems are. No. Where is it? Yes. The positional number system is a system in which the value of a number depends on its location. It's rubbish. Do they teach you this in the fifth grade? How come? You took a maths test, didn't you? I did. And what? I don't remember anything. Did you get all the points for entering? Yeah, probably. Okay, I'm done. Too tired to think straight. Let's have a fairy tale and go to bed. About the Avenger princess. Who would it be else? Once upon a time there was a beautiful princess. Her parents, a king and a queen, were very kind and loved their daughter very much. And she dreamed of a handsome prince. But instead, an evil dragon came along. Where did the prince go? He was hanging around somewhere. There is always some trouble with princes, in short. The beautiful princess had to hide among the poor orphans and prepare for the battle with the dragon. And she will kill him on her own. Of course. What is the dragon doing now? He is staying in his castle and preparing to conquer the world. Will Boris Ivanovic join us today, please? Yes, he will choose the tender winner. No, he can only take one guest with him. I understand that he is a minister, but we don't allow any exceptions. Bye. Sorry for meeting you so late. You and you, unfortunately, are free for today. We are not interested in your offer. But you said that there would be only one agency to win the tender. It is true. Efficiency is higher in a competitive environment. Timur, bring them up to date. Yes. We are presenting our long-term project in 20 days. We call it Mobile Doctor. It is a mini-computer that allows you to check your health status predicts diseases and makes a treatment plan. It's like a real doctor, just better. Is this certified by the Ministry of Health? 
and not only by ours. You wear a bracelet on your wrist, and all the information about your health is reported to your smartphone and your clinic. If something goes wrong, you will be taken to hospital. It's fantastic. It is, and soon these bracelets will be worn all over the world. Thus, healthcare representatives from many countries and top managers of companies are invited to the presentation. You have 24 hours to develop a presentation concept. We will choose the best one, it should be the event of the year. Here is the product description and the technical specification, time's ticking. I am sure they will not be sleeping for the next 24 hours. With a budget like that, they'll give their own mother a trip to hell. Did Polynesia approve the construction? It approved the construction and gave tax exemptions to all investors of this miracle island. So let's launch the bracelet and move to the island. Actually, mom and I will move there and you will run the company. Meaning, are you serious? Certainly. You're my son. But. No buts, Timur Borisovic. I am tired. Business is very exhausting. I don't even enjoy lecturing students. I want to live for myself. Hey, to be honest, I can picture you living on those islands for years. What if mom doesn't want to? Why, mom might not want to. If you ask her, of course. <sighs> Thanks, dad. Raise. What is the hosting? There will be our ministers, ambassadors, daddies with their wives. Some chancellor will come from the EU. In short, it will be all top-notch. All in. Your cards, gentlemen. Are you insane? You lying bastard. Where did you get these cards? I was warned you were a jerk. Tell me, what do you want? An invitation to Wojtkowski. <laughs> nice joke. <laughs> Who was joking? Let me off. You won't get anywhere anyway. The invitations are individual. And it's not a piece of paper, it's an electronic chip. Where am I to get you one? And if you think about it... Heart. S-S-I-C-K. You don't take care of yourself. Hello, ambulance. Emergency. A man is sick, a heart attack due to alcohol abuse. So, have I earned my fees? Dear Snizana, you were a beauty this evening. Just please don't pull your hair like that next time. It's between just fixing your locks and scratching yourself as if you are being bitten by fleas. I did exactly as you said. Well, you'll get it later. And who is this Boris Wojtkowski? Sweetie. Don't put that in your little head. 
Let's go. Boris Ivanovic, have you seen the news about you today? They said that your device would be used worldwide and that it is a medical revolution. Thank you. Boris Ivanovic, may I take a selfie with you? Yes, sure. Thank you. I'll be right there. Did you get your test results? Uh-huh. I failed in maths. So you won't be able to enter a polytechnic. Maybe a drama school. They say you are talented. And our foundation is now successfully implementing the program. We can help. I'm entering the polytechnic to study under Boris Wojtkowski. So you have to hold off for a year and then retake the test. I'll fix it. You called me here for this. No. It's about Tanya. There is a family who wants to adopt her. But Tanya never contacts them at all. Only you can have an impact on her. Anfisa, you must understand that this is a rare luck. The family is good. They can even take her abroad. They will not take her anywhere. I will be 18 soon, and I will take custody of her myself. No one will give you custody of her. You didn't enter the university. You don't have a job. And the money that the government pays you, pray to God, is enough for a decent room. Especially since there are such great candidates. They won't give you custody. Tanya, I'm not giving up on you. We'll still be together. Okay. I'm going to leave in a few days. What will you do without me? These fools will abuse you. Let's do like this. You will live with your foster parents for a while. They will be nice to you now. They will give you presents, provide you with a room, entertain you. Meanwhile, I'll solve my problems get a job and take you to my place. Come on, Tanya. Tanya. You'll live here until your turn for a place comes around. Just note, no men's company. They'll kick you out, got it? And don't do anything stupid. Go to college. There are plenty of good professions, a cook or a plasterer. You'll always earn some money and you won't starve. I'll handle it, thank you. Don't smoke in bed and turn off the light. Change your bed linen at least once a month. I said I'd handle that. Okay, since you're so smart, here are your documents. You'll get monthly allowance on your card. Why did you go from Anfisa Wojtkowska to Anna Tisifanova? A nice name. Have a nice day. Well, goodbye.
Millionaire Boris Wojtkowski about sanctions, new business and internet market. Where's your uniform this time? I forgot it again. Did you forget your head at home? I won't let you work with a customer like that without a uniform. Go find the uniform. Put your apron on in the car. Hello there, what is this? Sorry, young lady, we're working. I know you guys brought it all to my dad, Boris Wojtkowski. So what's tasty here? Uh... I hope your dad will enjoy it and choose us. We have brought rabbit confit, burgundy meat and cordon bleu. Cordon bleu. Cordon what? French cuisine. Oh. You'd better not show up at my dad's like this. He'll go mad. We also have gratin and quiche with spinach and mushrooms. It just needs heating. Oh, my dad loves all this stuff. He just hates it when people are late. So I'll help you, and then you can catch up with your kishmish. Are you nuts? It's just a connection test. Your condition reflexes are fine, good girl. Put it down and tell me. get started. Where do I start? By saying you killed my parents. And FISA? Just realize that technology is the future. In two or three years, people won't be able to live without mobile phones. Mobile phones will be an extension of humans. Food delivery, taxis, any goods, dating, and at least a dentist and a cardiologist, it will all be on your mobile. If we invest in the platform now, we will be in the lead. And who will use it, students? You're tired of working with banks, so you've decided to get a new toy. Did you think about what it would cost you to raise Amphisa? Dad was right. You don't think strategically. One might think you're a seer. Yes, a seer. If you don't think so, Borea, I'm not keeping you. I'll give you your share and we'll split up before we hate each other completely. What will I invest in development? My ideas, which, by the way, have been providing us for so long. You're smarter than me, Boreas, so prove it. I will come back from Thailand and we will start the division. You come back first. Tease hard to recognize you. I didn't kill your parents. Someone else did. I warned them to be careful in Thailand. No, it was you who killed them. You stole my father's innovations and got rich. Have a seat, let's talk. I didn't come here to talk. Why then? Kill me. Yes. I think that a hundred thousand dollars will make you give up your wonderful plan. You buy and sell everything. Even your own brother's life. Bastard. This is human gratitude. 
you should thank me for not calling the police. Now, I understand that you thought you had found the one to blame for all your troubles, but sadly, I have nothing to do with it. I'll get you anyway. I don't think so. You see, my girl, if you approach my house again, the facial recognition system will work, the alarm will go off, and then the police will definitely come. Yeah? Of course I remember. I'll show it to you soon. I wonder how she got here. No bonus for you. Eva. How are you feeling? Better now, thanks. Peeling again? Hey, sometimes I don't get you. Why all the sacrifices? Because I want to be the prettiest for you. You're gorgeous as it is. And what is this? A child-sized evening gown. Okay, so I'm an adult excess. But I'm still going to lose weight and I won't let you down. Hey, be careful with losing weight. Talk to Kira first. She knows what you need. I'm begging you, not to her, please. Honey, don't be silly. Kira is the best in her field, call her. Okay, if you insist. Yes, I insist. Okay, I'm not disturbing you. So the dress in one size. Oh, no need to. Did you hear what I said? Sew it up. Okay. Hello, can I order a pizza from you? What's the cheapest one? If you put sausage or sausages instead of salami. Why? Okay, you can order half of it. Choke on your pizza. So, what's going on with jobs here? Animator job for girls abroad? Abroad? No, it isn't for me. Office. Office manager vacancy. Office can work. Anna, good afternoon. My name is Michaelo. Thank you for coming. No problem. Well, let's have a quick look at your CV. It says here that you are fluent in computers. Could you be more specific? What programs have you worked in? All of them. Necessary for work. More specifically, Office, Evernote, Todoist. Including them. And you can write macros in Excel. I can. And presentations. Sure. Okay, tell me please about your English. Oh, English. Yes. London is, if. Anything else? Sorry? Thank you, the interview is over. Wait, it was a joke.
Hello, can I talk to someone about a job? Hello. Here you go. Are you looking a job for you? Yes. You are hired. So what should I do? Come on. I'll tell you everything. Tell it to yourself. Where am I going to get the experience if I can't get a job without it? But I am responsible and tidy. And besides, I'm hungry. Anna, please don't stress. I can offer you a job of food delivery career. And that's all I can offer you. And I agree. Thank you. I just saw you and knew you were a nice person. No, it's just that our main motto is everyone deserves a chance. This is our corporate magazine. You can learn more about us and our founder, Boris Voitskovsky. Mr. Voitskovsky is not just a prominent scientist, but also a genius businessman. We have a lot of different online services, in addition to food delivery and taxi services. Can I get to work right now? Overall, we have a long application procedure. Please. Okay. Thanks. I am just eager to work. Give me your documents, your health book, the security service will check them, and you're ready to start. I'll bring them to you later, okay? Unfortunately, no, we follow the law. Okay. And it's to remember you by. Mm. Tanya, hello. Can we meet tomorrow? No, Anfisa, I can't make it tomorrow. The foster parents are preparing a surprise for me. They bought me a kitten, imagine that, and they gave me a nice room and pancakes with jam in the morning. Sorry, I have to go. Top manager Timur Wojtkowski. So you like Voice Club, Timur? Mom, what is this? It's just appealing. Just really? Mom? Tell me, please, why are you doing this to yourself? It hurts. It's okay, it'll pass. You better tell me where you're going. Meeting my friends, celebrating my promotion. Your promotion? Yes. After the presentation, Dad passes the company to me. This is great news. Congratulations. Ori's invested in your education for a reason. And you see what you have achieved. If you had stayed next to me, none of this would have happened. Where are you staying tonight? At home. No, I'm meeting Kira. Boris asked me too. He's worried. You see, Mum? Boris loves you. He's worried about you. I'm off. And please, if you feel bad, call me. How nice it is when your boys take care of you. Why don't you give me a bracelet? Because you don't need it. Really? What happened to your precious wife again? Nothing new. She needs to lose some weight, but I don't want her to starve again and find herself in hospital with bulimia or anorexia or whatever it was. I don't need a scandal before the presentation. Just get her on some program and control her. I just don't get why she needs to lose weight. She's skinny anyway. Who would understand you, dames? No. Well, suppose I'm not a dame. I'm a woman. 
And anyway, I don't understand why you need to upgrade an old model if you can get a new one. Here up, let's not start. But you'll talk to Evelina after the presentation, as you promised. When the time comes, I'll talk to her. Please distribute the bracelets to the selected volunteers. Uh, I will be presenting the concept to the right people this week. The bracelets must be activated. Certainly, I can't detain your wife. Dames. Blood pressure is normal. You didn't measure properly. It's not me who measures, it's the machine. It's accurate. You'll stick to the paleo diet. I will schedule everything and take your blood once a week. Can we use the bracelet? I didn't feel very well during my last diet. I'd like to avoid that. Well, as you wish. I need to synchronize it with my phone in case something happens, so I'll know. Evelina, do you have someone to look after you? Is your son at home? Well, I'm not as disabled as you would want me to be, and I don't require supervision. My son has his own life. I see. Goodbye. I have a wide experience. Metropole, Ritz Fazenda. Fazenda, where is it? In Melitopol. Yeah, non-resident. Where are you staying? Give me your passport with a residence permit. I stay at my grandmother's house, so I don't have a residence permit. Hire me, you won't regret it. Well, leave your passport as collateral and get to work immediately. We are currently lacking people. Meet our new employee. Anya, she has a very important task today. She'll be serving the VIP table. Show her how and what to score. No problem. So, Anya, ready to learn? I won't explain twice. Maybe tomorrow? It's my first work day. Okay. I'll do it myself. Get changed and take an order. He ordered a domain. Domain. Domain E. Domain Lur Chamberlain. Something like that. Chambertine, which year? Are they different? Why didn't they teach you such an experienced one? 92 costs a thousand. 2012, 14 and a half. 14 and a half. Give me the cheaper one. Don't break it, you won't be able to pay for it. Guys, here's the new CEO of a super mega transatlantic corporation and my treat for the promotion. You're so cool. Hello, would you like a table for two? Get lost. And we have good wine. It's 14,000. Goodbye. Snizana, my dear, please remind me how you will fix your amazing curls when you see an opponent's flush. You remember what flush is, right? Like this. Please, just the fringe, I beg you. Who are you looking at? That one? So why that one? And whom then? Snizana, I'm not looking at anyone. There, here you go again. What? Your stuff.
so the client didn't pay. Right, he didn't pay and took off bastard. You re kidding? Do you know how much that wine cost? I know, a thousand, I'll give it back. Do you know how long you'll have to work for that thousand dollars? Dollars? How do you get such prices? Where am I going to get the money? Call the cops. No, wait, no cops. I'll pay you back. I'll work as long as you say. It's okay. It can happen to anyone. She didn't mean it. She thought we had decent people here. Okay. You'll work for free for two months. And I'll cover the money from your salary. The tips will go to me too. I'll keep your passport for a while. How am I supposed to live? You can stay at my place for now. As you wish. She had a chance. Nizana, my darling. Hurry up, please. We're already indecently late. Are you crazy? Get lost, okay? Your singing is disgusting. I'm actually studying at the conservatoire. Take this. I'll be back soon. Bravo. Encore. Okay, dear friends, attention, please. I suggest we drink to the beautiful girl who has just sung so incredibly. My treat for everyone. You mean me, right? I mean the one who sang. Bastard. Is such a nice girl capable of such disgraceful deeds? And are you a security guard? And are you a thief? How much per hour? Are you crazy? It's my dad. So role playing is more expensive. Shut up and I'll blind you for free. Sweetheart, what a tone. Perhaps it's a wonderful prince, relax, have fun, but come home by midnight. What a democratic dad you have. Does he allow you to talk to boys? Come here tomorrow at 7 o'clock, you'll find out.
Snizana, darling, take the car and go home. Aren't we playing tonight? You're not in shape. And I can't play without you. You're my muse. I thought we... Later, I'll call you back. How much does the girl owe you? The client ordered an expensive wine and left without paying. And now she has to work it back. How much? A thousand dollars. Remind me, Havlo Petrovic is your boss, right? Right. I'm going to see him tomorrow, and I'll have to tell him about your little tricks. What? How could you think that? Let me introduce myself, Yan Petrovich. Petrovich, I'm not the one you thought I was. I didn't think anything. I wanted to return this. Damn it, I forgot my passport. What's your name? Why do you care? It's a business deal, not sex. I would like to offer one event. What event? The one you will get us an invitation to. What invitation? Are you drunk? How vulgar. An event is coming up that I really need to attend. And you are the one who will get me the invitation. Why would you do that? Because I have an interesting video on my phone of a young lady so elegantly stealing my old friend's wallet. And I heard that they give you a prison sentence for that. Got it. Once again, what is your name? Anya. So, Anna, you will get me an invitation to this important event. And then I'll remove from my phone the video of you stealing the wallet so skillfully. How am I supposed to do that? This event is organized by the guy who hit on you at the club. A lucky coincidence. Use it. Okay, you'll get the invitation, but you are going to remove video from your phone here right now. If it were that simple, I would have managed without you, believe me. Keep in mind that the invitation is not a piece of paper, this is an innovation, maybe something similar to a gadget, I don't know. Besides, you have to impress Timur so much that he gives you two invitations at once. One for you, and one for your dear daddy. What daddy? Me, of course, but keep in mind that your pretty face won't be enough to strike Timur to the heart. Ease up. I know how to deal with boys. You sure? You're just a one-night thing for him right now. Do you want me to tell you about your first dates? Timur will arrive on a date in an expensive car and immediately make it clear how he is better than you. Such people always assert themselves with their money and other people, of course. I love Shostakovich. And you? Okay, okay, I'm joking, it's Rimsky Korsikov, but I don't remember what it is. It spins and spins. Can you remind me? Oh no, you must love pop music. What's the latest trend? Lady Gaga, right. Can you sing it? Let's go. Scratchy lady, he will take you to a place that is of his interest. Hello, dear guests. If you feel uncomfortable, it will be a bonus. It makes it more interesting. Episode 2. Sociology, Economics and Politics. How are they related? You can learn a lot of interesting things at our lectures. So book your subscriptions online on our website. 
I'll send you the link right now. Oh my god, I'm so sorry. Where are we now? It's a lecture center. An interesting lecture is about to begin. And our today's talk is mining cryptocurrencies based on social capital. Cool, right? Cryptocurrency is the future. Right. Isn't it about the dollar exchange rate? Something like that. Excuse me, what did he say? You are fun. How long will it last? Quiet. The literature is elegant. The term cryptocurrency was first used by the creator of the Bitcoin system. You know, we still don't even know who he is. He is hiding under the pseudonym Satoshi Nakamoto. Are you bored or what? Me? I've never heard anything more interesting in my life. Let's go have fun. It's okay, I'll bear with it. Let's go, come on, come on. Then he will drag you to a restaurant and try to humiliate you there. He is convinced that a girl will tolerate anything for money. They serve great stuff here. We'll have two starters and a main course of risotto with scallops. And we'll drink Alberini or Vermintini. Or maybe you prefer Burgundy Blanc. Water. <laughs> Water. Why is that? Detox diet. No, interesting. Then tell me about yourself. What are you? What do you do for a living? A model? No, a blogger. I'm not on social media. Oh, really? What's life without likes, huh? You don't seem to be the type to eat. Wash and do sports live either. <laughs> okay. Okay. Then surprise me one more time. What is your life's goal? Is it an interrogation? No, just a talk. Interesting, you know, I have two friends. They are very similar to you. One of them aims to get boobs, and the other one wants to leave for Monaco. What do you want? To the toilet. I really need to go to the toilet. I feel nauseous. What a bastard. Sorry, are you talking to me? Timur is a bastard. He's been mocking me for days. He's not going to give me the invitation voluntarily. Let's make some other agreement. No way, a deal is a deal. But if you're ready to listen to my advice, you'll succeed. Try to knock him out of his usual reference frame. Do something he doesn't expect. I need money to buy a gift for my friend. Will you help me? Just right away. At least it's honest. Respect. To you or to me. You'll see. Why did we come here? We will earn money. Let's go, I have to wake up early tomorrow. I'm not going anywhere with you. Firstly, you won't have enough money for me. And secondly, you're not my type. What? You know what? Hey, pal, play along. The profit is half. Do you know this? This one, come on. When the city fall asleep The tombs we're playing on repeat What are you holding up for? Get the money. Are you crazy or what? I'm not going to get anything. I'll give you how much you need. Dear ladies and gentlemen, my friend is ashamed to take money for our work. Please support him, whoever can, as much as you can. Will save me okay. Good, guys, let's support the young musicians. Who else is there? Who else? Are you shy? Huh? Okay. Okay. Guys, get ready to part with your money. Let's help the young artists to succeed. Well, well, your money... I demand your money for this beautiful, incredible, brilliant work. Your money... So who is shy? Well, it's not bad. 
Maybe I should change my profession. Well, it's enough for a doll. Does your friend play with dolls? She goes to school. How did you get your underage friend? From an orphanage. Are you from an orphanage or what? No, of course not. I have a full range of ancestors. You know how it is in rich families. Nobody cared about me. A nanny used to teach art classes at the orphanage and often took me with her. I met Tanya there. She was three at the time. She used to talk so funny. I see. Hypertrophied maternal instinct. No sex. No. Okay. But you don't know what you're losing, okay? Will we meet again? I don't think so. I have a lot of work to do. I don't have time to sing songs with you. Then it's you who doesn't know what you're losing. May I at least hug you goodbye? Bye. Bye. Oh, hi. Oh my god, it's really a mess. Yeah, but what is the problem? I am even scared that you are asking such questions. A loaf for breakfast? Honey, are you seriously going to catch the millionaire heir? Hey, why did you come here? Stop. How did you get my address? Have you been following me, pervert? Well, get dressed. I'll feed you a proper breakfast. I'll also explain why I'm here. So, an omelet with bacon, toast with cheese, pancakes with raspberries, a big milkshake, ice cream. It's for me. You have quite an appetite. Yes, don't envy. Whatever I don't eat, I'll take it with me. The girl gets what she has ordered, and I'd like a cup of black coffee, please. Thank you. Well, Cupid, your advice didn't work. You won't get any invitations. By the way, what the hell do you need them for? Aren't there enough decent hangouts in the city? It's not about the hangouts as you said, but about the fact that Timur's father is going to introduce into the world a medical device that can show to its owner blood pressure, pulse, sugar level, and even do an express blood test. It diagnoses a large number of diseases and records all the data in a kind of electronic medical file. Aha, that's cool. Cool? Now imagine that you have access to this data and can change it. For example, you know that the person has diabetes and you forge the sugar data. The doctor prescribes the wrong dose of insulin and that's it. Bam, the person is gone. Won't the doctor check your sugar? Do you often check what your phone shows you? For example, the weather, traffic jams, currency quotes, account balance, no, why? See, you're used to trusting gadgets more than people. Moreover, if the device itself performs an express blood test, you have no reason not to believe it. Hold on. Are you going to use this device to kill someone? On the contrary, I want to prevent this device from being released. I need to change the software to do this. It's impossible to do this remotely. Do you understand now why I need the invitation? I understand, but what's the use? Timur won't give it to me voluntarily. 
He will with my help. A part-time magician? You can say that. Do you want a rich fiancé? I really do. I'm not as stupid as you think I am. It's his. I underestimated. Oh, yeah. How are the fish? Eating. How was your evening? I couldn't reach you on the phone. I've lost my phone. I think it's possible to trace. Was there anything excessive in the phone? No, just a few photos from my girlfriends. Hey, why are you keeping this? What if someone leaks it to Vika? Vika is in the past. Meaning? And her father. Same with him. Dad, why do we need him? Hey, don't be silly and make up with VIKA. We need her father. He should lobby for our interests on the world market. I don't need any problems. Dad, are you serious? You want to trust me to run the company and you can't trust me to choose a girlfriend? Yes, exactly. Are you ready? Hello, gentlemen. So, the dots on the map are activated bracelets. May I ask who exactly they belong to? Yes, it's a medical device. You can get it from your doctor after registration. All data about owners will be recorded in special databases, which developers, of course, have full access to. The owner of this bracelet has a 99% chance of having cancer, clogged heart vessels, causing numbness in the limbs, stomach and chest pain. Here is a possible medical prescription. We are interested in all the bracelet's functions. Well, let's choose. For instance, Someone healthy, it is a woman of 45, healthy, slightly hypoglycemic, probably on a diet, like my wife. Now I'm going to adjust it a bit. Let's make the pressure 220 over 140, pulse rate 120. Both she and her doctor will now receive an alarm signal. The doctor will prescribe the necessary medicines. What if they take a patient to a clinic for a checkup? The bracelet adapts to the frequencies of all widely used clinical devices, and it can change their values. So the device can change the data of diagnostic equipment. Exactly, well. I suggest we discuss the details of the advance if you, of course, liked it. A few questions first. Is the program easy to hack? Only the person whose computer has the emulator software installed can make changes. This is the software that is stored on the USB flash drive.
I lost my phone. Can you track it? Just a minute. Did you switch off the beacon? I didn't. There it is. It's on and moving. Okay. Keep tracking until it stops somewhere. Thanks. Sure. Anfisa. They are so cool. My new parents. Will you look at my present? Yes. Later, do you know what they gave me? A tablet and a phone. Cool. They are also soon flying to America for the holidays. We're going to Disneyland. Wow. I'll come back to you anyway. Don't you worry. She is after me. See you. Bye. This is Anya. I'll do whatever you say. It's probably Timur. What am I to tell him? Tell him you found his phone, but you're busy and we'll call him later. Just make it fun. Hi, yes, I found your phone, but I'm busy now. I'll call you later, okay? Okay. Take me home. Timur's security service is already collecting your personal data. You cannot get close to your home, since you have already called yourself the daughter of a rich father. Right. Where am I going to live? Maybe you'll find me a rich daddy? I've already found it. It's me. Relax. I do everything by mutual consent. You'll have your own room. At least you'll live like a human being. Can I at least take my stuff? In no way, your stuff can only be poured over with petrol and burned. So, my lovely lady, you have to become a different person. Hello. Hello, Violetta. Violetta, great. Only you can help me. This girl needs to be turned into a charming lady. Yes, sure. Yes, I'll choose the clothes myself. Here. Not bad. I was afraid of leopard prints or, God forbid, pink ostrich feathers. I've never liked such things. Really? Still, it's too extreme. I'm afraid we'll scare our friend away. Try this. Is it a style of farewell to youth? Try it on. Violetta, we need heels of a size 37. Eight. I'll fetch it. Stilettos are uncomfortable. If you learn to walk properly, it is comfortable. Come along. Violetta, tell me, have you been here for long? No. I just can't recall such charming employees as you. Thank you. No need. She'll do it herself. Evelina Sarevna, you had a hypertensive crisis. It's okay. I was just scared of the beeping. That's all. This beeping indicated that your blood pressure was high. You need to be taken to hospital. I'm not going anywhere. Just prescribe me some drugs and that's it. I will do it, but this is not the solution. I insist on medical examination. Mom. <sighs> Mom, what's wrong? It's all right. Son, calm down. And that's why Kira Michaelovna is here. What happened? Your mom had a hypertensive crisis. And you share diagnoses with everyone, right? I'll ask Boris to change the doctor. Is it the diet? 
No, it usually lowers blood pressure. Your son has a right to know the truth. I'll tell it myself if I think it's necessary. Mom, you're not going to tell anything. You'll stay silent to the end. Figure out what the problem is. Definitely. I prescribed the medicine. I wrote the dosage here. If it happens again, call an ambulance. You see, she left without even saying goodbye, Timur. Mom. I'll take care of my own health. Believe me, it's okay, it's all right. Really? Really? Yeah. Mom, let's figure it out together. Okay, okay. Let's figure it out together. Let's figure it out. I love you very, very much. And I love you. How is Evelina? Oh, great. Pressure jumps for no reason, but a sign of early menopause. But it's normal at her age. You, why are you like this? What? It's... What are? It's just physiology. I'll soon start to get jealous of nothing. She gets so much attention, and I'm still waiting for going to Sicily. Don't even dream about it, got it? Timur Borisovic, your phone has stopped in this triangle. There are three houses there, and what is it? A small luxury village. The residents of one of the houses live in Europe. The other house is occupied by a young couple. Who is in the third one? Yen Petrovich Teplikov, a businessman. Businessman. He has a daughter of about 20. Her name is Alice. But she lives in America. Should I block your phone? No, no, no need for that. Looks like someone's playing a game. Did you get your phone back? Did you make up with Vika? I didn't. No. Don't even think about messing around with anyone before the presentation, or do it quietly. Hey, don't teach me anything. You're the one who brought your lover home. What are you talking about? About Kira, what? You are so passionate. None of your business. This is my daughter, Alice, she lives in the States, and fortunately, she hasn't been much on social media, you will be her for a while, and you'll tell Timur that you changed your name. It's easy. Alice is a well-bred girl, in order to play her role, you will have to learn a lot. I didn't find myself in a dump either. I believe you. But first of all, please remove your feet from the table. Stop scratching yourself as if you had a flea colony and don't bite your nails. It's not attractive, to say the least. I noticed that you have good taste. I dare say it's inborn. The posture. As a kid, you either went to ballet or gymnastics. So someone took care of you. Who are your parents? My parents died. My grandma raised me. She also died recently. Suppose. Can I ask you to set the table? But only by all the rules. Are there any rules? Of course. And for each mistake you will read a book, watch a film or listen to an album of my choice. 
What if I succeed? In this case, I will make your every wish come true. All right. I served. <laughs> Please give me a hot tray. Now, please, make it in a proper way. Large plates for the main course. A fork is a paired item. It always goes with a knife. Yeah, small plates for the salad. And don't forget the napkins. Are we at the Queen of England's dinner? My dear, if you don't consider yourself a queen, no one else will. Please wait for me. The final touch. What is it for? You have to learn how to create an atmosphere that no man will refuse. The girls from Timmer's environment, like my daughter, would never pick at a salad with a fork. Moreover, Using a knife is as natural to them as taking a shower twice a day. I'm full. Great. Wait for me to finish, and then serve some tea for yourself and coffee for me. Why are they served differently? Certainly, didn't you know? These are the basics. Didn't your parents really care about you? No, I'll show you the basics. Give me your list. It's already in your phone. 30 books? Yes, we will discuss the first two tomorrow. Tomorrow? Isn't it a problem that a month won't be enough to read them? And you don't have a month. The presentation is too soon. Oh, why do I need to know all this? To be able to have a basic conversation. Slice the tomatoes in thin discs. It is better to choose mozzarella cheese in brine. It is better to choose mozzarella cheese in brine. Here, a slice of regular cheese is great luck.
Good restaurants serve fish with a fish knife. If not, two forks are served. Eat up, dear guests, don't spill it around. You are making progress. What do we have for lunch? We have a salad as a starter. Okay. What do you think of The Great Gatsby? I think I like the book better than the film. And what about Hadi DiCaprio? DiCaprio is a master of life, but Gatsby is not quite confident in himself. That's why Daisy chose her husband instead of him. I knew. Very interesting. May I ask you to dance? You can't see yourself from the side. You are a real lethal weapon. You became less formal. It's about time. I made risotto. Let's watch the film. Okay. Make me have risotto. You said you didn't want to. I don't want many things. Get what you want. You have to make Timur dance to your tune. Timur. I think our relationship is at a dead end. We need to work on it. If a relationship needs to be worked on, it is no longer a relationship. It is violence. My psychotherapist thinks that you are a narcissist and I am a borderline. It's an addiction that's hard to break. Honey, I can help you with that. No, it's not about that. It's just that I'm going through therapy. You need it too. I decide for myself what I need and what I don't. And you should not force me. It will not make you happy. I've registered you on a dating site. We'll learn how to get what you want from men. Let's start with this magnificent man. For example, look, what do you like about him? I don't like anything about him, he's a nightmare. Not a nightmare, but a man not to your taste, and yet, take a closer look. You can find something good in everyone. Remember, you should be sincere, people feel fake. Also, they instinctively like those who are interested in them. Make a compliment to attract someone. I see. You look like Bruce Willis. <laughs> well done. Hello, sweetie. Thanks. Tell me about yourself. Wait. Ask him a counter question. Ask him about himself and start talking to him about his childhood. 
What the hell do I care? Childhood memories connect people. A magical topic. And will you tell me about your childhood? Huh? No. It would make me vulnerable. <coughs> Mom, you need to eat properly. I don't want any more. I'm full. Besides, I need to go to the gym. Mom. It's okay. What gym are you talking about? You had a hypertensive crisis. My dear, you are an adult and I can tell you. It seems to me that Boris has someone else. Mom, come on. That's just nonsense. Well, even note. I say even, even if he has somebody, are you going to torture yourself because of it? What if he leaves me? We don't have any children together, and there are plenty of young, beautiful girls around. Mom, if you and Boris get divorced, you still have me. But you're not Boris. Yes. You're right. I'm not Boris. That's why I'm going to go and do his errands now and please call me if you feel worse. And don't do anything stupid. No, no, wait, hold on. You got me wrong? That's not what I meant. Don't be offended, Timur. Well, mum, you said it right. I'm off. Wait, hold on. And how is VKA? I haven't seen her for a while. Why? Vika is fine. Everything is okay. Her dad is fine, too. Timur. Promise me that you will never marry for the sake of profit. Only for love? Okay? Mom, what are you talking about? I tell you, Vika and I are fine. Were you thinking about her this morning when you woke up? No, mum, I wasn't thinking about her. Hello, Anya, hi, it's Timur, can we meet? Of course, I plan to have a picnic in the park, you are welcome to come. I don't have much time. And I won't keep you, unless you would like to stay. Okay, see you later. Are you sure? Yes, and you? Of course. Tanya, we have a present for you. We hope you like it. Open it. There. Tanya, we hope you will say yes. Keep on opening. Will you be our daughter? And move to America with us? The time has come. Tanya, is anything wrong? You said we were going on holiday to Disneyland? Not forever. Tanya, things have changed in the last week. I was offered a job. Tanya, you will study at a private school and have your own room. You will finally start writing. You've been dreaming about it so much, Tanya. Well? Tanya, where are you going, Tanya? Tanya.
Yes. Just a minute. Hello, Boria. Hurry to Avelina. Call an ambulance. I'm on my way. And don't give her any of the drugs I prescribed. You hear me? Wow. You look nice in this light. You have very beautiful eyes. I didn't really see you at first. I didn't seem to see you either. If you are short of time, I don't insist, but if you have a few minutes, maybe we can have a drink. How are you? You look tired. I'm organizing an event. There will be a lot of guests, and there's a lot to consider. Wow, thank you. It's just a super agent's job. Did you dream of this as a kid? No. I dreamed to be a vet. Really? Me too. I'm sorry. I'm holding you up. You are short of time. A few more minutes will do. Then tell me about your work, if it's not a secret. It's not a secret. Our company is launching a unique device on the market. We expect it to be as popular as smartphones. Well, what is this? It's a mobile doctor, in short. I can't tell you the details. The presentation is coming up soon, so I'm in a hurry. And you organize everything yourself? No. But I control everything. To be honest, I don't even have time to invite a girl to a reception. Excuse me, please. Yes, Tanya. What happened? To kidnap who? Wait, where are you? I'll be right there. Calm down, please. Can you take me to Tanya's? Is this your friend? Has anything happened? I'll tell you on the way. What happened to her before? Scratchy lady. I don't know. I found my wife unconscious. Will you take her away? Reanimation is useless. The heart has stopped. Episode 3. Where did she get her bracelet? I gave it to her. What is it? A souvenir jewelry. We visited Wojtkowski. The USB drive with the emulator software is on the ground floor, in the safe. What is it doing? I need to know what I'm risking for, otherwise, I won't take the risk. Let's just say that the owner of the USB device can do everything with the program that the developer can, but, Jan Petrovic. Sure, sure. I'm not my own enemy, I don't need that USB drive. Where exactly? Just here. Yes. It's a pity. It's all out in the open, and Wojtkowski is not a fool. That's why we contacted you, Ian Petrovic. Dear friends, I am very pleased with your trust and high appreciation of my abilities. But this project requires a different specification. And I'm out of business. Jan Petrovic, don't be shy, you will manage. And still, I'm a simple person. I play for my own pleasure. I don't hurt anyone. And I wouldn't like to start again. How is the preparation going? Why are people so cold? The invitation is almost in my pocket. I'll attend the presentation officially, and no suspicions will arise, then it's a matter of technique. And that's why I want to ask you for an advance. I assure you that this will not be a problem, I need information about a certain Anna Tisifonova. 
What happened? Tanya's foster parents decided to take her to America forever. This is a normal experience for an orphan. Why wouldn't she be happy? Why did she run away? She wants to live with me. And did you promise that? Yes, I will adopt her as soon as I can. I just see your desire. Karaoke in nightclubs, picnics in the park. Please don't judge what you don't know. Listen, you are her leader. I mean, that's why, that's why she follows you life like a puppy. People are the same animals. It's just for kids, their parents are the leaders. For her. See, so the problem is that you're not ready yet. You're too young, irresponsible. Tanya is not an animal. She is my friend. And in general, people are not animals, if you are not aware. You think so? If you enjoy thinking of yourself as an animal, then please keep it that way. But personally, I am a human being, and so is Tanya. And this is the end of our discussion. Wait, are you offended? Sorry. Tanya. And who is this? And this, never mind, thanks for your help. Maybe I can drive you home. You have no time. I'll manage. Let's go. Where are we going? You'll see, you'll like it. Come on. She drank twice as much. It could have lowered her blood pressure. I don't know why. Actually, her crisis was strange. She is hypotensive, and her blood pressure rose to 220. Borea, I made the right decision with those numbers. Borea, why are you silent? Did I do anything wrong? Why the hell did you give Evelina the bracelet? Who asked you to? I told you to give them to the focus group. How does the bracelet relate to this? I just thought it would be good to control her during the diet. Yes, you just thought. The autopsy will show that Evelina took drugs that were contraindicated for her and the first person for the investigation will be her doctor. Yes, wait, contraindicated. But I acted according to the information from the bracelet. I mean, the bracelet was showing incorrect data. It was showing that she was having a crisis and her blood pressure was low. Borea. It's all your fault. You killed your own wife with your damn bracelet. You were supposed to do what I told you. Don't you dare talk to me like that. And if you don't get me out of here, I promise I'll do everything I can to destroy your damn presentation. You, your bracelet is a killer. Enough. Calm down. Okay. Calm down. You're just tired. You need to rest. You need to sleep and rest. I will take care of it. You promise? Sure, of course, darling. I'll take care of it. You stay here at my place. My dear Kira. I'm here for you. They recommended you as an experienced guide to Thailand, private tours, escorts, individual services. I am not mistaken. You aren't? Here. This is my younger brother and his wife. They went on a hiking trip to Thailand. You know, they are so young and risky people. They love the exotic. I hope they are safe there. I would like them to have fun, to travel a lot. Perhaps they will like the country so much that they would like to stay there for as long as possible. Don't worry. People who work with us don't return home. But I didn't mean that. Look, I just need some time. You'll do everything carefully, right? Do you have doubts? No, of course not. Don't worry. It's going to be okay.
don't let Timur into the house without me. Don't tell him anything about his mother. How come? Now we're going to leave together on an important matter. Yes, of course. Okay, jump out. Anya, what happened? Dad, meet Timur. Timur, meet my dad. And we already had the pleasure of meeting in a nightclub. You see, I was right, a prince, riding a white horse. Wow, indeed, Dad. I'm off. Thank you. Just don't start. I'll explain everything. Come on. Okay, Anya, please, tell me in detail what you and Timur have talked about. Nothing much to tell about the presentation, about how he doesn't have much time, that he lacks time to invite anyone to it. And? And that's it. Then I got a call from Tanya, and I asked him to take me to her, and that's all. Okay. And now we move on to the second part. Who is Tanya? Tanya is my best friend. Does your best friend have parents? No. She's from an orphanage. Great. So you kidnapped a child from an orphanage? No, she ran away by herself. Listen, can Tanya stay with us for a while? You don't mind, do you? Do you? No, no, of course not. Let her live. Just call the orphanage and tell them that you have her and that she's okay. Sort out all these little formalities. Last thing I need is a charge of kidnapping a kid. Of course, I will do it. Now. Okay. Let her take a shower and not touch my things. I'll be back soon. Hello. Hello. I am the husband of the late Evelina Wojtkowska. Here is a claim that I am against autopsies for religious reasons. I respect your feelings, but I'm afraid that this is impossible. The thing is that the report of the paramedics stated that the death was due to an overdose and incompatibility of medicines. In this case, an autopsy is necessary. You misunderstood me. There will be no autopsy. You just give a certificate saying that she died of a heart attack. My late wife complained about her heart, but did not want to go to the doctors. Maximko can confirm it. Maximko. Your son. I saw him half an hour ago. Such a lovely boy. Make sure he doesn't show up at work for a few months. So what questions do you have for me? It's not me that the child ran away from and I didn't deceive her. How clever of you. You said you were going on holiday, but decided to take her to America forever. Okay, let's do this. Tanya will call you tomorrow and explain everything herself, okay? All right, have a nice day. What am I going to tell them? The truth. That you were scared and didn't want to leave me. I told them about you, but they said they didn't know what you were counting on. And what did you respond to them? That you would beat the dragon, become rich, live in a palace, and take me to your place. By the way, how is the dragon? Better than anyone else. Are you doing anything yet? 
I tried to kill him, but I have not succeeded yet. What to do? I'll try to get into his house again. You should see it. A fortress with a bunch of guards and cameras and a facial recognition system. And who is this guy? This is Yan. He's teaching me to get into the dragon's lair. Is he a charming prince? I don't know. But he helps me, and that's the most important now. By the way, I'm Anya to him, so don't give me away. Hello, gentlemen. It is a pleasure to deal with such efficient people. Hello, Yen Petrovic. First of all, tell us why you need Wojtkowski's niece. Evelina died of a heart attack. It wasn't your fault. It's great, Boria. Now you can safely marry me. And no one will blame you for anything. Honey, no one would have blamed me anyway. Why should they? Well, for example, me, I could accidentally tell about how your miracle bracelet mysteriously influenced your wife's death. Only you know what this thing is capable of. No autopsy, right. Hira, I want you to help me with the bracelet presentation. It's time to introduce you to the public. Really? As what? As a personal doctor for now, but this is the first step. So, what do I have to do? To perform like a beautiful model. I want to show on you how the bracelet works. Nice. And then you'll kill me like Evelina, right? Come on, my dear. You are the only one close to me. Look, I'm putting one on top of the other. Because the small one is for the salad, and the big one is for the main course. Isn't it enough to use just one, and there's less to wash? No, cheater, no way. Good evening, charming ladies. Wow. Here you are, darling. This is for you. Thank you. Go play in the room. Come on. Is it for me? Of course. Thank you. Is it a holiday or something? Yes. We will celebrate the end of your studies. What, already? Do you think I'm ready? I am surprised myself. In such a short time, it's an impressive result. You are a talented student. You've done so well, I take my hat off to you. What do you mean? I mean Timur is on the hook. I think he's ready to give you the invitation. And I want to thank you for that. Do you know what my grandmother used to say? Don't count your chickens before they're hatched. And I am sure that you will do everything possible to get this invitation. I believe in you. If you insist. You're incredibly beautiful. Timur will be a complete idiot if he refuses such a girl. I had to play my best role today when I tried to find something good in him. But... Do you like me?
I want to protect you more than anything else, my girl. But the most difficult thing is to protect a person from oneself. Don't worry, I won't do anything bad to myself. You remind me a lot of me, I used to think that way too. I was convinced that I was stronger, smarter, more accurate than all the powerful people, serious, mature people. And what happened? I found myself in jail because evil is always punished. If there is even the slightest possibility not to do it, then don't do it. Sometimes a person simply has no choice. There is always a choice. Do you want to go, choose, warm countries, foggy Iceland? I don't. I'm fine here, and I have something else to do. You have nothing to do, you have nothing to do here, your plan is idiotic, do you understand? What do you know about it? I know you are a little, stupid girl, who knows about life only from coloring books, maybe you've also watched cartoons, you are a fool, do you understand? You are a fool. I told you to play in your room, please. Take your hands off her. This is part of your brilliant plan, is it? This? And you think you're the smartest? You play with people like toys. We'll overdo it here. We'll underdo it there. And there we eat with ten forks. Tanya, let's go. Tanya, where are you? You can't go there. Quiet. He has money on his desk. I saw it. Are you crazy? Don't touch anything. He was right to call you a fool. What are you going to live on? Actually, I have my own room. What are we going to eat? He must be some kind of pervert. You can take money from such people. It is not a problem. I won't let you steal. Damn you. Tanya. Tanya. The phone. Tanya. Tanya. The hall you are requesting is only available by special order. A letter from the ministry is required. Okay. Timur Borisovic, the person you indicated, is on our blacklist. Then cross him out. Excuse me. Yeah. Hey, Timur. Hi, I'm sorry to bother you, but I need your help urgently. Where are you? Okay, 20 minutes, I'll be there. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm sorry. This is force majeure. We will go on tomorrow to compensate for the inconvenience. Here is an invitation to our presentation. This is a fake, but real bracelets will be available at the presentation. See you soon. Goodbye, Timur Borisovic. What happened again? Tanya quarreled with my dad and ran away. Is it her style to run back and forth? Is she insane or what? Stop it, okay? I'm sorry, it was a poor joke. Why didn't your dad go to look for her? Because he doesn't want us to communicate. It's a long story, and I'm sorry to bother you. Really, there's no one else? You don't look like a girl with no friends. What do you know about loneliness? Drive fast, okay? It will not be fast. Jam's in the city.
fasten your seatbelt. Okay, right. We're closed. Vanya, it's me. I haven't seen you for ages. You look so beautiful now. Did you stay at your theater? And how is Grandma doing? Still running, a marathon racer. Is this a sort of hobby club or something? All the runners are grannies and children. If I start running, will you take me to your club? When you have Alzheimer's, you'll run like that. Knock on wood. She's a cool grandma. She curses so much that our car mechanics fall over themselves. But sometimes her engine goes wrong in her head. So she runs away and we look for her all over the city. Sorry. So, are you visiting or what? Tanya ran away. Did she leave the orphanage or what? No, she left me. Where can I find her now? I'll ask my guides. Is he calling the police? No, he helps runaways. Those who ran away from an orphanage or from their families, everyone knows him. He helps with food, if necessary, and tells you where to find a place to stay for a night. Is he from a fund? No, he ran away from the orphanage 24 times, protesting that he was being taken away from his granny. Your Tanya is not in the street yet, but if she shows up, they'll call me right away and I'll call you. I get it, thank you. Can I borrow your motorbike? Are you sure? Yeah. We'll get stuck in traffic jams by car. Do you even know how to drive it? Let's go. Don't be afraid. Anfisa drives better than any adult man could dream of. I taught her myself. Anfisa? Are you going, or should I go alone? You should open a course on extreme weight loss. And why did he call you Anfisa? Stage name. Are you sure we care about these dames? Do you think your Tanya could have run away to prostitutes? Please don't insult girls, okay? Wow, my friend. Motinka, oh. <laughs> By what fates? This is for you. Take it. Thanks, Fiza. You're the best. Tell me, please, have you seen my Tanya? It's a bit early for her to join us. It's just that we quarreled, and she doesn't know anyone but you. Listen, let's do this. If she suddenly comes over here, you call me? Okay. Oh no, I'll kick this little stupid girl to you. She'll be flying. You know me. Maybe you'll tell me what's going on with you over coffee. I don't have time. I need to find her. I don't want her wandering around the city alone. Oh, no problem. All right. We'll be in touch. See you. Don't you want to explain anything to me? Anfisa, runaways, prostitutes. Maybe later, okay? Let's go, please. Take it. Anya, Anfisa, what's your name? Open up, don't be silly. I know you're there. Open up, I'm not leaving until you do, I won't hurt you. Why are you shouting? Have you checked the time? Tomorrow you'll deal with your horse. Maybe you will explain what we are doing here. This petting zoo patronizes our orphanage. Tanya loves animals and could have hidden here. Yeah, stop. Stop. Prostitutes, runaways, a petting zoo. You seem like a decent girl from a respectable family. Or did you lie to me? No, I told you that my nanny used to teach art classes at the orphanage. And that's where I met the guys. What should I have told them about my rich dad? So I told you that she had adopted me and that I was an orphan. Why? You see, when you have nothing to give, people start to see a human being in you and love you just for no reason. Maybe. Is Anfisa your real name? No, I used to play in the theater as a kid. I created names and roles. Tell me, did you first want to see me because I had a lot of money? What do you think? Is there anything good in you besides money?
A lot of stuff. For example, besides the fact that you consider people to be animals and transmit your snobbery to everyone. What is snobbery? What exactly do you mean? Yes, Motinka. Hold her off. I'm on the way. I'm on my way. I'm with you. Tanya, you're crazy. I wish I could give you a good kicking. We've been looking for you all night. She's a betrayer. I'm not going anywhere with her. I'd rather live on the street or leave. Tanya, stop it. We misunderstood each other. It happens. Please forgive me. Let's go home. Okay. I'm not going anywhere with you. Will you go with me? And who are you? Let's say I'm a person who wants to show you something. And if you don't like it, I'll give you money for the way back. Are you nuts? So how about it? Good. But she's going with us. Okay. Let's just get the bike back. We'll take my car. It's a long way. Look at this hero. I'm shocked myself. Better than yours with the beard. Hey, if you say anything about him, I'll send you north to the bears. Got it? I got it. I'm not stupid. <laughs> oh, stay in touch. Thanks so much. All right. See you. See you. Hello, Timur Borisovic, good morning. Lovely ladies. Sorry for not calling you. No problem, we are always happy to see you. I'll show it to the girls. Of course, you're welcome. Gatsby, hello, my good boy, my pretty boy. How are you, is everything okay? Fiona, what is it? What is it? My darling? It's okay. My dear? This is a dog shelter when I have time. I volunteer here. I really stress, so to say. I help with money, by the way. I got my dog here. You've come to the right place. Hi, Arkasha. Come here. Come here. Come here, my good boy. I'd like you to meet him. This is Arkasha, a purebred pet dog. But he either ran away or got lost on the street. Some jerks decided to make fun of him and cut off all his fur. They broke two of his paws. He couldn't walk. He was dying when the volunteers found him. Now Arkady is waiting for someone to take him home. Right, Arkasha. Poor, poor Arkasha. I wish I could take you somewhere. And why are the other cages empty? Did those dogs die? No, those dogs were lucky. Someone has already taken them, and believe me, they would never want to go back. I love animals so much. They are like people to me, even better. That's what I'm saying. People and animals are alike. Only your friend doesn't want to believe it. You see, Tanya, if you run away, unfortunately, you might be in trouble in the street. Just like Arkasha, maybe even worse. But I am not a helpless dog. No, of course not. Humans are of a different species, they are more violent. But still, we have something in common. We feel the same things. For example, my dog. The previous owner kept her on a chain at the summer house. He used to come on weekends. Then the owner died. And she kept waiting for someone to take her away. Fortunately, the neighbors caught on and freed her. And then you took her? Yes, I chose her right away, because I knew how she felt. Are you extra? Extra... Extra sensory. No, it's just that from the age of seven I lived and studied in an expensive British school. It is like an orphanage, but very expensive. Do the rich send their kids to boarding schools? But why? My parents wanted me to get a prestigious education, sometimes they visited me when they were in London on business. But they never took me home for the holidays. Why? I did not ask. I didn't want to hear the answer. How long did you stay there? Ten years. 
and all that time I was waiting for someone to take me away, that my mom would feed me breakfast and ask me how I was doing. You dream about that too. You needn't tell me, I know. I also know what it's like to cry into a pillow and to call mom when I was a kid. I love my mom the most, and I still do. But she couldn't take care of me. Just like your friend can't take care of you now. But you know what? What? When I was around 13, I realized that if a stranger came to me and said, come on, I'm taking you home, I would go. I could even love that person. How do you know? What if they're not good? No, Tanya, remember, a bad person will never be able to take care of other people's kids or dogs. You understand? I think you're lucky. There are people who are ready to love you, who want to give you a family. That's what every living being on this planet dreams of. But if you prefer to run away, cry, then someday you may be like one of these dogs who nobody takes away. You, you will take me to Oksana and Pavlo, but they're probably offended by me. I think they have already forgiven you. Tanya, I'm sorry. Sorry, darling. We thought you'd be happy. We wanted the best, Tanya. You must be Enfisa. Tanya told us a lot about you. I'm Oksana. Nice to meet you. We promise that we will do everything we can to make Tanya feel good, and if she still doesn't like it, she can come back to you at any time. Tell me, why Tanya? There are a lot of young kids in the orphanage, but Tanya is older and already has a formed character. I'll be honest with you, Tanya is very similar to my younger sister, whom I lost. I loved her more than anything in the world. That's why I grew attached to Tanya so quickly. Anfisa, please don't think we're boasting or putting pressure. But we can really give Tanya a good, decent life. And no one will give the girl to you now, do you really think that waiting in an orphanage will be better for her? I understand. I'm not leaving you, am I? If I fly away, you won't forget me, will you? No, of course not, what are you talking about? As soon as I can. I'll definitely visit you, okay? But for now, you know. Yeah. The dragon is alive. Charity Fund Blago. You saw them. They're normal, decent people. Calm down, Tanya will be fine with them. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Kira Mikhailovna. But you can just call me Kira Voitskovska. Well, we'll need a cosmetologist. Let's get ready for world fame. And one more thing, I have some difficulties with Kira Mikhailovna. She's been taking on a lot lately. We have to do something about her, you understand? Has Timur shown up? No. As soon as he comes, call me.
Bye. Bye. Can I walk you home? No need. Thanks. You really are not like everyone else. See you. See you. Wait. Why are you walking around here? Huh? I'm admiring the progress you're making in our common business. Spying on me again? <laughs> you didn't give me a chance to talk to you normally. Listen, I'm really tired. Let's talk later, okay? No, we'll talk now. Anfisa. That's your name, right? Daisy, hi. What are you whining about? You missed me, Daisy. Dad. Timur. I have bad news. What? Don't tell me our license has been cancelled. I made up with Vika. It's mum. What? Is she sick again? Mum is gone. Is this a joke or what? Unfortunately, no. She felt sick yesterday. She fainted. I immediately called an ambulance. But they couldn't save her. How come? A heart attack. I already have a conclusion. Tell me. Is Kira worth it? How is Kira involved? Mom had pushed herself to the limit with that abuse of her body. She couldn't live peacefully. Don't you dare talk about her like that. I don't know what you've done to her, but when I find out, believe me, you'll be sorry. So you changed your name and went to Boris's house to kill him? Yes, that's how stupid I was. I had no proof that Boris ordered the murder of my parents. And even if I had, no one would believe me. Okay, Basta, your turn. Why do you need the invitation? I made a mistake once. Now I owe very serious people. I can solve this problem. But I need the software of Boris's invention. And you can't just give the money. I thought you were rich. Not as much. So, we'll take part in a robbery. No. I have a better plan. We will escape from this endless blood feud, from the debts and get married.
will you marry me? Is that yes? Don't tell me you're in love with that bastard. Timur is not a bastard. Scratchy lady. I keep telling you again, I need your documents, passport, clinic record. Episode 4. Are you mocking me? I just want to know why my mother passed away. I can't give you an official conclusion without all the documents. In fact, you should talk to the chief doctor. I don't need the official one. I would advise you to talk to the pathologist, but unfortunately, he has resigned very unexpectedly. Yes, very unexpectedly. Can you give me his address or any contacts? The king would contact you. Please. Sophia, a quick question. Do you have any contacts for Petrovsky by chance? The one who quit today? No way. You don't even have a copy. Someone is asking about him. Okay, thanks. I'll see you for lunch. What? Did he vanish with the home address? Something like that. He quit with a scandal, refused to work for two weeks, and took his personal file. I can even guess why. And the doctors who came to my mother's house, can I talk to them? Or did they also quit unexpectedly? Well, I can help with that. Did you come to the house of Evelina Wojtkowska? Did she die in your presence? Young man, what do you want from me? We did everything we could, but we're not gods, you know. Why are you nervous? I'm not accusing you of anything. I just want to know what my mother died. Hypotension, cardiovascular failure, heart collapse, massage didn't help. We followed the protocol. Her doctor can confirm this. She was there too. Yes, I will ask her. I will definitely ask her. I'm sick of this rude attitude. We work non-stop for two shifts and they humiliate us. And the husband of that woman pulled off her bracelet. He thought we were going to steal it. Did you know the victim? Kira Mikhailovna. Kutima. From the 42nd apartment. Young, beautiful doctor. Why did she jump out of the window? Married? No. Though somebody came to see her several times. Very showy, in an expensive car, with bodyguards. Do you know him? No. Maybe you've seen him. You know, I don't remember anything now. Blonde, brunette, at least some signs. I can't remember. Son, instead of quarreling, let's focus on mum's funeral. The funeral, the presentation. I think we should cancel it. No, Dad. We have to hold it. For Mum's sake. So that it's not in vain. You think wisely. Of course we will. I just have one request for you. Don't marry Kira yet. Please.
What are you talking about? I wasn't going to. Anfisa, are you ready? I'll see who is there. Hello. Hello. Sorry, I forgot to tell you something yesterday. Here. Wow, it doesn't look like jewelry, but thank you. This is an invitation to our presentation. Will you come with me? Sure. Is this your mobile doctor? No, just an invitation. It works only at the entrance. We will give out real bracelets at the presentation. You seem strange. Did something happen? My mom was killed. How come, who? My stepfather. Stepfather. Has he been arrested? No. Everything is perfect, no witnesses. Alive. And so what's next? Are you just going to stand there and talk about it? Revenge is best served cold. Have you heard that? In short, come to this life celebration. It will be fun. Wait, you're up to something? I am a big boy now. I can handle my problems. Don't worry. You realize that you can't bring your mom back, whatever you do. And you realize that I can't stay idle. I can understand that. Great. See you then. Put on something stylish and pretty. For the occasion. The last question, why me? Because this morning, I was thinking only about you. Congratulations, mission accomplished. Is it the invitation? But we don't need it anymore, do we? No. I think Timur will deal with Boris himself. Boris killed his mother. I don't know the details. But I still can't go with you. Why? Because... because I don't have a passport. Anfisa, my dear, remember. Please remember once and for all. There is no problem that I cannot fix for you. Just don't do anything stupid, okay? You see, if I found out the truth about you, Timur will soon find it out too. And then you'll be in trouble, believe me. Timur Borisovic, information about Alice Tepuyakova. Delete it. I don't need it anymore. You could see it. It's very interesting. Alice hasn't been home for a long time because she lives in America. Let her live. Thank you.
We'll provide catering, of course, but the hall still needs some work. We'll remove the mirrors, decorate the room in black and rearrange the furniture. When are you going to do this? Tonight, if necessary. We can finish tomorrow morning. Ah, uh, one question. When is the presentation going to be rescheduled? We don't reschedule anything. There are still nine days to go, and the hall will be decorated. No fooling around with these days, the dead don't need it. We'll say goodbye to her in the morning, and then you'll take things back to the way they were. Boris Ivanovic, for a moment. Thank you, you are free to go. Timur Borisovic was near Kira's house. I thought you should know about it. When was it? After that, he saw her. So keep an eye on Timur. I'm afraid that his mother's death might break him down. Timur Borisovic has already left home. Then why are you still here? Hi. Thanks for coming. No problem. Did anything happen? We could say that. Here you are. What is it? This is information about you that our security team has collected. I haven't read it. Maybe you want to tell me something yourself. I want to, but not now. I'm very worried about you. I know what it feels to lose your mom. How? You have a full set of parents, you told me. There are things that are very difficult to talk about. Sometimes it's easier to lie. When my mom died, it was like something broke in me. I understand. What happened? She died. We didn't even have a chance to say goodbye. When's the funeral? Tomorrow. Should I go with you? Thank you. Let's stay together a little longer, can we? We should. Why aren't you sleeping? I understand everything. He's young. He's probably somewhat attractive. But Timur is your enemy. He lived in your house. Slept in your bed. He went to university instead of you. He took your place. He is not guilty of anything. He had no choice. Now you're protecting him. Please understand. You'll only give in once, and that's it. Your life will be ruined. Please calm down. I was just at Tanya's. Let's talk tomorrow. I'm very tired. Well, as you wish. Good night. Sweet dreams. Hey, are you kidding me? Open the door, now. There are times when a person needs to be protected from oneself. What? Are you crazy? Open the door. Come on, come on. Mobile network signal is lost. Great. Let's take a break from modern technology. Damn it. Signal, signal, where's the signal? Damn it, that bastard.
You know, Mom, I wanted to introduce a girl to you. For some reason, she didn't come today. You would have liked her. <laughs> Boris Ivanovic, as for your request, Timur Borisovic spent last night with a girl named Alice Teplyakova or with someone who pretends to be her. Go on. Daughter of Yan Petrovich Teplyakov. A well-known swindler and criminal in narrow circles. Okay. We have already collected information about this so-called Alice. By the way, it was Timur Borisovic's request, but he categorically refused to read it. And what about Alice? And now this is quite interesting. Alice Teplyakova has been living in the United States for a long time. This girl is pretending to be her. Do you know her? Mm -hmm. Anna Tisifanova is the name that Anfisa Voitskovska took for herself. Just look. She's persistent, just like her late father. Well done, you'll get the bonus this month. You know you are always welcome. Son, we need to talk. Where are you going? There's a wake. Don't worry, I'll be in time for your speech. Bastard, I hate you. This will pass soon. You'll realize I was right, please. Your passport is ready. Eat and come downstairs. I'll put the suitcases into the car. Hello, yes? No, no, what are you talking about? Everything is almost ready. I'm a pro, yes, of course. Where are you going? Hush, hush. I just want to say goodbye to Tanya. Great. Then I'll take you to Tanya's. When you spent the night with Timur, he actually had a girlfriend whom he had been dating for over a year and men rarely change. He'll do the same to you. I will never betray you. Anfisa Anya Anya Anfisa Anfisa Who the hell are you, huh? You have five minutes. 
He's so disgusting. Where is your other prince? I don't know. It doesn't matter. It matters. I'm flying away, and I have to leave you in good hands. What would I do without you? I'll think of you every day, and you don't forget me. Okay. You're dreaming. I'll call you every day, and just try not to answer. I love you more than anything, stupid girl. And I love you. Just defeat your dragon, please. I will. Today. Just chat. It's a secret. Okay, good luck. But don't marry this guy. Deal. Tanya, don't be upset. You will see each other soon. Tomorrow you'll call Enfisa and show her your room. Okay, don't worry. We'll take care of her. Take care of her. Goodbye. Goodbye. Why are you crying? If this little girl is so important to you, we could take her with us. However, I would have to settle in a neighboring town. A guest marriage is also romantic, right? We're off the subject, okay? Okay. Let's go quickly. The plane won't wait. We still have to get our things. I am sure you will love Cuba. First, I'll show you Havana. And then we'll fly to the islands. I've rented a gorgeous house with a swimming pool and staff. We'll live like kings. What are you doing? Please stand up. Young lady, clear the way. Guys, it's okay. She's just scared to fly. She drank a little to get her courage up. Baby, come on. Anfisa, what are you doing? Get up. Are you with her? No, I'm on my own. I'm asking you not to do it. Come with us, young lady. Guys, please let her go. Our flight's in an hour. Go to the boarding gate. You fool, you won't defeat him. A police car is around the corner so that no one gets scared. Guys are from a top security agency. As soon as you see these people, you take control of them. The girl, the man and Timur. Detain them on my command. Okay. Hello. Hello. We are pleased to see you. Please come in. Hello? Hello. Excuse me. I didn't expect you to come. I'm sorry, I didn't attend the funeral. I had a valid reason for that. Really? Believe me. I believe you. I didn't take the invitation. Is it significant? No, I'll show you. The girl is with me. I have to check the guest. Rules are rules. Timur Borisovic. I set the rules here. That's okay. It's his job. Thank you. Come on in. I'll leave you for a moment. Listen to some music. Okay. You turn off the music. I come out. Is that clear? Don't worry, we've worked it out three times already. Okay. Dad, someone is asking for you. Aha, uh -huh, thank you. Timur Borisovic, please don't change anything. We've prepared everything. Nothing will change. It's just that the presentation will happen from this laptop for security reasons. My passport name is Anna, any problem with that? Sorry, not allowed. Listen, my daughter and I confused our bracelets. She came with mine, and I took hers. You can clarify, call Timur Borisovic or... Can I have a look? Yes, sure. Come on in. Thank you, it's nice to be around intelligent people. 
Yen Petrovai. Nice to see you, gentlemen, all according to plan. Some bad people told us that they had seen you at the airport today. You look like you wanted to fly away to warm countries. That's right, officially, I am out of the country. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Thank you for taking the time to join us today. Before I start, let me introduce you my son Timur. He will help me with the presentation. You might have heard about the grief that happened to our family. Initially, we were convinced that we would refuse to make the presentation. But then we made this difficult decision. We must give the world an invention that can save millions of lives. In memory of my beloved wife and the mother of my son. Ladies and gentlemen, our long-term development, a mobile doctor, This small device serves as your personal doctor. It is safe from the human factor. The risk of it making a mistake is close to zero. Our little doctor can measure your blood pressure and pulse rate. It can give you a recommendation on how to quickly get back to normal, thanks to a special app. He can perform a one-drop blood test. Boris Ivanovic, may I ask you a question? We will try to answer all the questions after the presentation. There will be a short press briefing. We need to know this now. Is your blood pressure really 239 over 238? Let me answer this question. Boris Ivanovic's blood pressure is normal. And this is a small detail that my dad forgot to tell you about. The point is that our mobile doctor can not only help to treat, but also kill a person. Is this a metaphor? No, literally. You can change the indicators of our mobile doctor manually. And based on them, a real doctor can treat his patient to death with wrong prescriptions and then he or she will die when they realize what they have done. Like it happened to our family doctor, Kira Mikhailovna. After my mother died. You see, ladies and gentlemen, how brilliant my invention is, that even my own son goes to perjury in order to take possession of it. By the way, his collaborators are in the audience. A man named Teplyakov, a thief, a swindler and a card cheat, and my own niece Anfisa, who also chose the wrong path. Why do they need it? I'll tell you. Imagine the perfect plan. Publicly discredit me by inventing this ridiculous legend. Naturally, our company's shares would fall my name would be destroyed, and this inventive trio will buy my inventions for nothing. Don't believe him, he's lying. Why? I'll tell you what happens next. Son, you'll announce that the developers have fixed the defects, restart the product, and launch it on the market, taking my money. But you did not consider one thing. You've forgotten my lessons. Money is not the most important in life. I've told you many times that there is justice in the world, and justice prevails. Don't take them away, let them stay at the presentation. Let them see fair business succeed. Do not hold them. Maybe they'll learn a lesson. You killed my mom, bastard. We are sorry. 
you've come to the party, and you see this, but I have nothing to hide from my guests. Yes. It is very difficult for a man who has lost his wife, for a father to hear this from his son. But I will try to forgive you, son Anfisa, my girl, did I not help you in life? Didn't I give you a helping hand? Come on, give me a hug. Give your uncle a hug. I believe that your mom, your dad, my beloved brother, they would have wished for this. Okay, everybody stand still or I'll shoot. Now finish your performance and tell everyone the truth. You won't kill me, will you? Anfisa. You can't do that, Anfisa. 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 So, what happened? Tell us. Sooner or later you'll have two. Anna? I'm not Anna. My name is Enfisa. Enfisa Wojtkowska. We are now on the second round. You have nothing against my client. And Timur's wound was an accident caused by self-defense. But Boris Ivanovic was assassinated by his own niece. My client was just trying to protect the people around and himself. He deserves to be rewarded. And why did your own niece want to kill you? For all good things, of course. I offered her a hundred thousand dollars to start her life. But she wanted millions. If you don't have anything else, I'll go, it's been a very long day. You are free. You have five minutes. What about Timur? He seems to be alive. And you could be sunbathing in Cuba right now. Thanks for saving me. You're welcome. I have never felt more stupid in my life. Thanks for saving my life. And you arranged me a sit-in protest in the parking. If you had asked me, I would have staged you a better show. Don't you get it? I didn't want to involve you in this. I'll be waiting for you there. I hope someday you'll understand. I don't think I'll be able to fly anywhere soon. We'll see. I have reason to assume that Boris Wojtkowski killed my mother. Evelina Wojtkowska and his lover Kira Mikhailovna Kutema. Suspicion means just words. What about evidence? The doctors who tried to reanimate my mother can confirm that at the time of her death she was wearing a bracelet. Boris's invention. Her phone saved the indicators of too high blood pressure on the basis of which her doctor, Kira Mikhailovna, made the wrong prescription. 
then this is a question for the late Kira Mikhailovna. Criminal negligence. She should have checked everything. I didn't finish. There is a bracelet control program. It records all the changes made manually. You will see that it was Boris who changed the bracelet's indications. That's why the doctor prescribed the wrong medicine. And my mom died. Give more details. You can find all the details there. Maybe the e-doctor is the main invention in Boris's life, but it is definitely not his main business. For the app, which allows you to control the bracelet and change the indicators, Boris was supposed to get several times the sum, and in cash. Do you understand what you can do with this app? And what about the doctor? Her death was classified as suicide. Talk to the head of Boris' security. He will tell you who threw Kira out of the window. Is it just that simple? Of course, after my telling you about several cases in which he was personally involved, I'm sure he will be willing to cooperate with the investigation. Okay, Timur Borisovic. We found the bracelet management software in your computer. Please tell us how it works. Okay. Just one more thing. Anfisa Wojtkowska had nothing to do with the attack on Boris. It was he who tried to kill me and frame her. That's very noble of you. But your friend had a gun, an unregistered one. This is my gun. Anfisa got it by chance. Don't touch her. She was saving me. We have different information. Okay. Just think about who is more important to imprison. A man who wanted to make millions off people's lives. Or a girl from an orphanage. You decide. Thanks for coming. Here you go. The keys to your house. You can live here. You'll have enough money. What money? Inheritance. Boris outwitted himself. He transferred all his property to my mom to avoid taxes. And she made a will for me and didn't tell him about it. So now it all belongs to me, but it's not fair. But you're his son. No, I'm not his son. And in fact, you should be the heir. At least, I decided so. Wow, you decided. Yes. And one more thing. I brought up the information about your parents' death. I talked to the police, to lawyers. In short, unfortunately, it is impossible to reopen the case of their death. They disappeared in Thailand, and the case term has expired. I know, I'm going to find out what happened in any case. I understand. But it is possible to fly there and start searching on the spot. Or hire detectives to investigate. In any case, I will give you all the information I have. Thank you. You will finally be able to adopt your Tanya with such money, no one will refuse you. What can I give to a child, a naive fool? I thought a girl could defeat a dragon. You did win. How? By taking his money? What's the difference? The dragon is defeated. Cinderella has turned into a princess and now she has two princes. By the way, your dad was worried about you? Yes. He flew away and promised to never come back. Will you join him? No. Who is he to you? Really? The man I never was able to love. Who 
Who am I to you? The man for whom I decided to stay. Let's get back to the most discussed news of the last few days. Today, the court passed a judgment in the case of billionaire Boris Boitskovsky. One of the richest men in the country was found guilty of a double murder as a result of the death of his wife, in whose name all the capital of the oligarch was registered, and by the decision of her only son, Wojtkowski's property passed to his niece Anfisa, an orphanage graduate. Anfisa, you have already donated part of the money to help orphans and animal shelters. What are you planning to do next? To enter a drama institute. My girl, you're not supposed to study there, you have to teach there. Where are they? The plane has landed long ago. Don't worry, they'll come. Oh. Tanya, and Fisa. How you have grown, you've become such an adult. Have you defeated the dragon? You doubted me. Of course not. Can we have fun now? Absolutely. Hello. Hi. He's not bad. I'm doing my best. It will be the best holidays ever. Yes, same for me. Gimme. Gimme. Gimme, hop. Here. Come, 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 come. So big. Yeah. <laughs> 